Hello my creative friends, welcome to Rain Francis Art. My name is Rain. It's a bit of a windy day today. I hope that the audio is okay. <laughs> today I'm sharing a drawing that I'm doing of Bob Denver in ink and graphite. Bob Denver played Gilligan on Gilligan's Island. And this was all part of my art date theme of weather and weather lore. As we know, the boat that they were all on was in a storm and they ended up on Gilligan's Island. It's really difficult for me to pick a favorite character from that TV show. It was a TV show I grew up on and I watched weekly, and I've watched all of the reruns over the years as well. Gilligan was just so funny, so funny. And I think my second favorite would probably be Mr. Howell and the Skipper. <laughs> I have to say I was disappointed when they finally got off the island. So today, you already know Jack. He's hanging out with me outside today, and so is Marlene. I wanted to introduce Marlene to you. She is Marlene. She's a Husky Shepherd mix who came to us in 2015, and we don't know her age. We're guessing that this year she's probably in the range of 14 to 16, something like that. She's got some health issues. She has problems with her kidneys and her hind legs don't work very well anymore. She's going deaf. <laughs> she has a little bit of dementia, but she's such a sweet dog. She's so, so sweet. I think all she ever wanted in the world was a family. So she has that now and she'll be with us for the rest of her days. I'm so glad I was able to introduce her to you and share this moment with you. If you'd like to follow along with the tutorial, I've left a link in the description with a downloadable copy of the stencil that I created and a list of the supplies that I've, I've used. What, Marlene? <laughs> if you enjoy it, please like and subscribe and leave me a comment. I love to read them and I love to reply to them. So without further ado, here's the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello everyone, are you ready to draw Gilligan? Let's begin. <laughs> I have my 0.8 fine liner ink pen and I'm going to outline the entire stencil. And if you're interested in following along, I've got a link in the description below with a copy of the stencil that I created, you can download it, and a list of the supplies that I'm using today. I loved Gilligan's Island. I just loved that show so much. It was so different from other things that were on television when I was a kid. I mean, it came out in the 60s and I was born in 1968, so I didn't see it um, when it first came out, obviously. I was too young, or not born yet. <laughs> I think it was, the pilot was 1964, I think. But I definitely saw it on television when I was a kid. All three seasons. And, what was the uh, the name of the movie they put out later on? Rescue from Gilligan's Island, I think it was. I watched that on TV when it came out. I remember that. I was 10 years old. So they were on the island, I think it was 15 years over the three seasons, <laughs> and they rescued themselves by building this crazy boat contraption thing. I remember really, really enjoying that. I've had to pause this video a few times because my dogs are not settling down <laughs> and they're all over the place 
So I had to go and pet them and let them know that they're loved. <laughs> and now they're settled down again. So I may be repeating myself here, but I was talking about the rescue <laughs> movie. I loved it as a kid. Actually watched it as an adult last year, I think, or a couple of years ago. It was awful. <laughs> Just awful. Not funny. Really bad jokes and I think it would have been better if they stayed on the island <laughs> but the show itself was really good I read a whole bunch of trivia before starting this drawing and I'm trying to remember it all now I personally always mix up and say John Denver, but his name is Bob Denver. No relation to John, the singer. Another interruption just happened. <laughs> you probably heard a little bit of a commotion once in a while the cats start chasing each other <laughs> and uh, they really think they're super super cats and they jump off I have a loft in my house and there's a little staircase that goes up there and they sometimes jump off the middle stair of that loft and it just it sounds it sounds worse than it is but I always have to get up and check on them to make sure they're okay. It's what happens when you have pets in the house and you don't really have a studio with a door. <laughs> I don't mind though. All right, so I've got it all outlined here. I'm going to start filling in the darkest parts. The darkest parts on Gilligan are his hair, parts of his eyes, and part of his mouth. So all of this here is his hair. And this area here and this area here is lighter. This is part of his hat here. So I'm just going to make that a little rounder because this is all his hair right here. So once again, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yes, the trivia stuff. I was looking up trivia and I read, don't know if all of this is true because I did not look for sources. <laughs> I'm just repeating what I read. Apparently, the town of Denver, Colorado, I think it's Denver, Colorado, was named after Bob Denver's great-great-grandfather. Or so I've read. Also, he was always called Gilligan. They never revealed whether it was his first or his last name, but Sherwood Schwartz, I think he was the creator of Gilligan's Island. He says that the name was originally Willie Gilligan and Gilligan was supposed to be his last name, but Bob Denver always said that Gilligan was his first name. Okay, so 
for his eyes, I'm just going to outline the eyeball a little bit to make it more so that it stands out more. Make that part of his pupil a little larger. The two dots on each eye, we're going to try to not put anything on that because they're supposed to be very white. I'm going to fill in just a little bit of his eyebrow. The darkest part of his eyebrow. His nostrils are actually black. And I still have my 0 0.8 fine liner ink pen here and I'm going to fill in a few spots on his ears. He has a funny shaped ear here. I made his ear a little silly. <laughs> okay, and with my HB I'm going to just, I'm looking at my reference photo and I'm going to fill in the area of his mouth I don't want to use ink for it because I want to make sure that I don't make any mistakes. Okay, I think I got that. So I'm back to my 0 0.8 ink pen and I'm going to fill in his the areas of his mouth right here. Okay? Now this part of his mouth is open, so I'm coloring in or shading in very dark because he's kind of got that typical Gilligan stunned look on his face. <laughs> okay, under his mouth here I've got a little crease. And under his chin, there's a little bit of a shadow here. And it goes down a little like this. And he's got a very pronounced Adam's apple, but it's not too, too dark. There's an area under his shirt that's very dark. And on this side as well, just on the inside here. Okay, I think those are the darkest parts. So now I'm going to switch to, I have a 0 0.05 tip ink pen and I'm going to go in and do some other dark areas, for example his eyebrows. They're dark, but they're not as dark as this area here. And I'm making them a little bushy. And let's see, they come out a little further. This one too. This one comes out quite far actually to this tuft of hair, but it's very thin. He has very manicured eyebrows, which I always thought was funny when I looked at him. Looks like he plucks them. <laughs> okay, so there's some dark shading here. bit here on the inside of his eye. He actually has very obvious eyelashes too. They're short but they're there. I'm going to work on this side now. A little bit of shading around the eye and those eyelashes. For some of the areas 
that are dark, I like to just do cross hatching. It just makes it different, like these areas here where there's a little bit of shading. I'll use cross hatching. Actually, he's got this area of his ear. My cat is right next to me, trying to get onto the windowsill, which is filled with books. So I'm hoping that you don't suddenly hear a huge crash. <laughs> if that's the case, I may just ignore it and keep going and pick all that up later. All right, his lips. Do we need to do anything with his lips? His lips are quite... If you look at his a color photo of his lips, it looks like he's wearing chapstick or something like that. His tongue is down there because they're very, very light. Now, the inside of his shirt is slightly dark. I'm just going to put some shapes The buttons, I'm just going to make a few little spirals in there. Okay. Under his shirt, he's got some shadowing, so I'm going to do the cross hatching for the shadowing here. What is going on with the animals today? Is there a full moon that I'm not aware of? They are acting like lunatics. There he goes again, my cat running around the house. <laughs> I know there's a new moon. I can't talk too much when I'm doing this cross hatching. I'm not good at multitasking <laughs> when I'm trying not to draw outside the lines. Here there's a little shadowing as well. So I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. So now I'm going to grab my HB graphite pencil and I'm going to just very gently fill in his face. Small circles or ovals applied very lightly. The great thing about graphite, though, is that you can erase it. As long as you don't apply it too heavily, it's easily erased. I'm going to apply it on the areas I cross-hatched on his face and his ear as well. Another character on Gilligan's Island that I loved a lot was the Skipper. Skipper! <laughs> Alan Hale Jr. What a character. And you know, his father, Alan Hale Sr., was an actor in Hollywood in old movies. I can't... I can't say I know what decades I know they were, I saw them in a lot of black and white movies, probably the 40s and 50s, maybe, I think, 40s and 50s, and they could be twins. Their mannerisms, their laugh, their smile, their, you know, presence, and <laughs> they really could be twins. That same laugh. And in all the movies I've seen him in, Alan Hale Sr. has always pay, played like a goofy comedic role. 
Okay, so that's the HB. Now, his hat is white, so I'm actually going to use the same HB pencil, and I'm going to just color in, I always say color in, I'm shading in his hat. And his shirt is white. I'm actually going to leave his shirt white because he has a red. Uh, the collar is white, but the rest of the shirt is red. So I'm going to apply my 2B, which is slightly darker than the HB. This area here is a little bit darker because of the shadow. And his sleeve area also is a bit darker, just because of the lighting. All right, this is white, just around where the buttons are. It's a little darker. the darkest graphite pencil I have and just fill in a few areas of his hair. He's very easy to do. Grabbing my 0 0.05 tip pen and putting a little cross hatching in to his hat. Alan Hale Jr. was just called the Skipper. They never mentioned his name either, but I read that his name is Jonas Grumby. The Skipper's name is Jonas Grumby. <laughs> but they never called him that on the show. Another favorite character of mine was Thurston Howell the Third, Mr. Howell. Oh gosh, was he funny? Very, very funny. He relied on his wife Lovey <laughs> for all of his self-esteem. I think. Just putting in that some scratching here around the rim of his hat, and up here too. Just some scratching to make it look different. Rim. The rim actually goes all the way out here. Okay. And for his lip, I'm actually going to put a few little lines on the bottom. And I did apply 2B to these dark areas. I'm actually going to grab my 6B and I'm going to go over those areas because they are a little darker than this. I'm sure if you're a fan of that show, you you know that in the first, I think it was just the first season, that during the opening, the professor and Marianne weren't mentioned. They were just called The Rest. <laughs> I am not going to sing the song for you, but if, if you know the show, you know what I mean. Marianne was such a sweet character, and Don Wells died. I, I'm not sure but because I only read headlines these days. I think she died of COVID related issues. And Raquel Welch actually, I'm going in with the 6B and just filling in a little bit of his hair. Raquel Welch 
auditioned for the role of Marianne. Can you imagine how different she would have played that role? Marianne is supposed to be a sweet little farm girl, and Raquel Welch is a bombshell. <laughs> okay, I'm going to grab my 2B pencil and go in and fill in the rest of his shirt. And obviously Ginger was trying to act like Marilyn Monroe. The professor was brilliant. On an island with very little supplies, he was able to make a car. <laughs> he made a sewing machine. Uh, I remember the one where he made a still. They were trying to make booze. I think there, there was a, a lie detector when, and I may be wrong, I'm, I'm remembering a show that I watched many, many years ago. I think Mr. Howell was questioning his wife's love for him, so the professor just whipped up a lie detector. <laughs> of course, he had a Geiger counter because of that pesky volcano that kept threatening them on the island. And I was always amazed at how long those batteries lasted in the radio. 15 years. But I'm sure he would have developed something, or maybe he did, with a bicycle and coconuts. <laughs> Such a great show. Okay. His eyeballs. The irises are a little darker, so I'm going to be very careful applying the 2B inside. And I'm going to try to keep that those little circles white. I could always erase them if I had to. And sometimes I use a white acrylic painter pen to get them looking white, but I think I I think I'm okay here. Let's see. What do we have to do? There's a little bit I'm going to shade a little bit of his chin and the neck and that Adam's apple. Now the nose, I've, I'm still using the 2B, the nose is shaded on this side. And on this side, on the both sides of his nose, over his nostril and here too let's see above his eye is a little dark darker than the HB that is and he's got just some dark lines here that I want to shade on on his ear as well this ear looks really really funny doesn't it let me see if I can fix that I've got my 0.8 I'm going to add a little hair. <laughs> the hair fixes everything, huh? That looks slightly better. Not so misshapen. But it's too big. I'll make this part of his hat. There. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> okay, I've got my 6B. I'm going to go in and put a little bit of shading here. Just a little bit here on the side of his face, down his chin. This area here is a little darker as well. And uh, parts of his neck actually. He's got some dark areas here on his neck. blend. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to blend his eyes. I've got this little tortillon blender. It's a 3 16th of an inch. 
And I'm just going to go in and very lightly blend what I applied inside the eye, inside the pupil or inside the eyeball, whatever you want to call it. The iris. Okay. Now I've got my soft brand blender and I'm going to go over first I'm I'm wiping it off because I used this for my charcoal the other day. I'm going to go in and very lightly blend where I applied the lightest color or the lightest shade of graphite, which was the HB. Also applied HB to his hat. His ears are okay. Now I'll just go over the 2B area. I love these soft blenders for graphite. They work so well. I mean, look at that blend so nicely. As long as you don't press too hard, you can use these for a long, long time. If you press too hard, you're going to break them. There actually is a little bit of HP on his neck. I wiped this off, by the way, before I started to blend his neck. Now I'm just going to go about the rest of the area and the rest <laughs> his hair just everywhere else. I read that um, Carol O'Connor, who played Archie Bunker, was considered for the role of the skipper. <laughs> Imagine if he took the role of the skipper instead of Archie Bunker. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to get all politically correct here, but in those days it was funny. I still think it's funny. I mean, Mr. Jefferson was equally as much of a bigot as Archie Bunker was. <laughs> the word honky comes to mind. <laughs> All in good fun, right? Okay. Just making sure everything here is blended. Okay. I'm going to wipe that off and very gently blend around the eyes and his nose. Oops. There was... Did you ever watch the old Batman television show from the 60s? With Adam West. That was, that was a great show. I think Vincent Price was on it a couple of times as, an, as a villain, probably. Well, Alan Hale Jr., the skipper, actually, I think he played a cop or a detective on the show, and his name was Gilligan <laughs> on the Batman show. Okay. Now, I would like to add a little bit of detail where I need to. I have my 0.05 fine liner ink pen. And I'm just going to go, and I am looking at my reference photo. I want to add a little more detail around his eyes. Just to darken them up slightly.
Did you watch Gilligan's Island? Do you have a do you have a favorite character or a, a favorite episode? For me, my absolute favorite episode of that show was when they uh, they put on a play and they did Hamlet <laughs> as a musical. To thine own self be true. <laughs> that was the skipper. I love Hamlet. I'm I'm a Shakespeare person. I have a minor in English literature from university and I really, really studied Shakespeare's tragedies, loved them. Macbeth is my favorite, but Hamlet is a close second. And I loved that episode so much. It always amazed me how much stuff they had with them for a bunch of people going on a three-hour tour. <laughs> I mean, the Howells had all their money with them. Alright. There was something I noticed that I wanted to do around his mouth. Add a few more lines here on the bottom lip and on the top as well. And I'm grabbing my HB because our, I want to put a little detail here above his lip. But I don't want to start in ink yet. Just want to make sure I'm doing this right. I'm going to use the uh, 0 0.05 to make these lines coming down very lightly. We all have that kind of area above our chin, above our chin, above our lips, below the nose that's kind of a bit of a cleft, I suppose. So I just want to give a little hint of that. I'll just take the soft blender and just carefully, carefully blend the HB because my ink might still be wet. Okay, I think I've blended everything. Now I'm going to take my mechanical eraser. Well, first, let's get rid of all the excess. Wait, I didn't really blend this one very well. go around and just erase any pencil marks that don't belong and any graphite that smudged outside the outline. His shirt too, I want to make sure it's completely white. I chose to do this, make his shirt white. You could have, if you wanted to, you could have put HB on it and chosen to keep his hat all white. But when you're doing a drawing like this, you want to make sure that there is there's some contrast to it so that it looks good. Now remember I mentioned his lower lip it looks like he's wearing know lip stuff on it I call it lip stuff lip stuff it's um chapstick or lip sill it's very very white I'm actually going to hold on I'm going to take my smaller mechanical eraser this is Tombow mono this is priceless when it comes to graphite I'm putting in some highlights now
must be at the window. really under his eye. He's got a large highlight here. And I'll grab the, the larger eraser because he's got a little highlight on his chin. And right here on his face. His neck. Just here, on his chin as well, he's got a little highlight, and just above that Adam's apple. I'll take my soft blender now just to let's wipe that off first, just to blend slightly because I don't want the eraser marks to show. We've drawn Gilligan. What do you think? <laughs> Does it look like him? I really like this. Okay, I'm gonna sign it. Someone told me once, always own your art. Don't post anything publicly without having signed it because it's your art and you should own it. So there's Gilligan. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, my friends, and I hope you followed along, and if you did, please let me know and leave me a link so that I can see your work. And why not join me on Thursdays for my Thursday art date? There's a theme every week, and the link is open Thursdays and Fridays for 48 hours, and you can share your beautiful art. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and leave me a comment. I'd like to know what you think of this what your thoughts are on Gilligan's Island as well. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. Please have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!